Hello, hello. So I've spoken previously about how important I find it to write and journal and explore my art through writing. I find it a very helpful technique to articulate things to myself, to understand my own art making practice through writing. I also very much enjoy making sketchbooks from one piece of paper. And so I've got a video about that, so I'll link to it so you know how to make them. And sometimes I use these one page sketchbooks to make notes about my art. There is something that I find really powerful and useful about having all kinds of notes about my own art making on one page. It means that when I'm feeling maybe a little uninspired one day, I can get this out and there's a whole series of ideas or whispers of ideas or partial ideas on one piece of paper and I find that really helpful. What I tend to do in these little one page notebooks is capture artists I want to explore more, ideas I want to examine, objects that I'd like to draw, quotes about art, quotes about life and I just gather them all together in one place. It's like a little safe keeping place for me to collect, curate, gather ideas together. And I often have it in my handbag because it's super light and super portable. I may not want to carry around a really heavy notebook. And I often will really explore ideas in a kind of what, why, how. So there can be some what's and how's, so some real practical things that I want to look at. So it might be the art materials I want to explore or combinations of art materials or techniques. And then there's also a whole sort of set of maybe more emotional feelings, the things that I want to explore in my art. So it could be how I want my art or paintings to feel or it could be, what do I need from my sketchbook practice? What is it that I currently want my sketchbook practice to do for me? And so I will kind of think on that and write it in here. So for example, I've put, what do I need from my sketchbook practice? And I've put, to connect to myself, to be more playful and joyful, a feeling of adventure, uh, be bolder and braver and more paint. So I kind of just, talk to myself on the page and it's helpful because it gathers my thoughts in one place it allows me to articulate things to myself but it also then I can kind of read back on it all in you know one piece of paper and it can feel like a useful resource that I can use to point me in the right direction. I also gather quotes and things that, that I might see and think oh I want to kind of remember that so I've got a good quote here that I like from the artist Pierre Bonnard and he says draw your pleasure paint your pleasure and express your pleasure strongly and I think that's just such a lovely idea and lovely concept that our art making is a way for us to explore the things that excite us and interest us and bring us pleasure and so I, I like that and I've also here I've put how do I want my paintings to feel so I'm currently working on a big series of paintings and I'm just sort of articulating to myself and thinking through how do I want them to feel and I've put awe and delight I want them to have something delightful in them that just makes me feel delighted like tiny little moments of delight I think is something that I'm aiming for who knows whether I'll get there but that's the plan joy and exuberance and I've also put intensity and quietness so I quite enjoy my paintings when there's an area where there's loads going on coupled with an area of kind of more spacious quietness so a whole kind of little page here on feelings and then I've got a list of concepts, things like found objects and found papers. I'm wanting to explore more handwriting, aerial photography and maps, looking through windows. You know, just kind of these random ideas that occur to me, I do try and capture them. And, you know, I often will take notes on my phone or on a digital device, but there is something I find really pleasing and tactile about a small little notebook made from one piece of paper. I have piles of these that I've made at different times, and it's also quite interesting to go back and have a little uh, look through them. So I've got things like things I want to look at, English folk art, 
candlesticks. I seem to be really obsessed with wooden uh, candlesticks at the moment. Painted tiles. I've got a list of artists that I'd like to read more about. Ivan Hutchins, who was a uh, Sussex-based artist, painter. Uh, Beatrice Malhazy. So I just gather together artists I want to look at, techniques I want to explore. I've said here that I want to... I can't read my writing. Oh, gouache resist. So a gouache resist is when you use a water-based gouache, basically as a ma masking fluid, and then you paint over it with Indian ink or an ink that is not water-soluble, and then you put the piece of paper under the tap and the water soluble gouache sort of seeps away and leaves just a really lovely sort of texture. Anyway, that's something that I clearly want to explore. Maybe I'll do a video on that. A safe gathering place for ideas, for little fragments of ideas, for things about my own art. And I tend to have some headings. So it might be, why do I want to do something? Feelings, concepts, artists, techniques things and I gather them all together in this little notebook. So I just wanted to share that with you.